Okay, this is going to be part two of my friend Isaac, and now he's going to share a different incident, um, uh, uh, a word from the Lord about the rapture. And so, um, yeah, he's going to share that. So here we go. Aloha, church. Praise Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Now, the, the first the first video that I shared was my experience that God gave me of the rapture. This was in 1988. So, fast forward 17 years later, 2005. I was watching this bill that Congress was going to vote on and it happened to be the Akaka bill back in 2005 and they were going to make us Hawaiians who is a nation and still is a nation today they wanted to make us a, a tribe yeah but the overture was illegal uh, so God God still we're still a nation in God's eyes Okay, so here we were in Hawaii, right? We were, we were watching how they was going to vote on this bill. And so I'm, I'm reading the newspaper, and this is in August of 29th. And if you all remember what happened in 2005, there was three hurricanes. So the first hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, hits the coast of Florida, you know, Alabama, and, and all those other southern countries, New Orleans, and part of Texas. Okay, so they they moved the bill, the Akaka bill, to uh, September. And in September, Hurricane Rita hits. Okay, so now all these senators, all these Congress guys, they gotta fly out to their to their states. Go look the devastation of uh, the hurricane. So they was going vote for move the Akaka bill to November and probably December before they take their winter break okay so lo and behold there's one more hurricane hurricane Wilma right after that third hurricane hit the Lord told me spoke to me and he said I am intervening on behalf of the Hawaiian people. He stopped that bill. He stopped that bill. But he also told me why he, he this hurricane had hit those southern states. And he said, because of sin, because of sin in the land. Now in 2005, there was this pastor that was taken to heaven and I think most of you heard of his of the Lord sending his angel taking him to heaven and this pastor is none other than Carlos Sarmiento uh, you guys know his story right now there's another pastor Dave Martin and in 2005 the Lord showed him the hurricane that was coming and I think most of us heard his testimony also. And there's another pastor by the name of Rich Vera, who at the time was living in Hawaii, and he had an experience also. So here, here we are, four of us, me and Rich in Hawaii, and David and Carlos, I think they're in Florida, I'm not sure, I stand corrected. After all, it's been a long time, 2005. But anyway, let me get to Carlos one. Carlos one is very interesting. So the angel takes him to heaven and he's in his big room. And the angel tells him, you have been granted permission to stand here and to listen. So he sees the father and the son talking talking of 
the end times. And at the end of the conversation, to make a long story short, the father says to Jesus, it's time, son. Go and get your bride. Now, the purpose of God, grace, you know, bringing Carlos to heaven was to hear exactly what the father was going to tell his son. Because we all know the scripture, right? That Jesus tells us, no man, nor the day or the hour, not even the angels, and Jesus said, not even him, but the Father, okay. So in 2005, I don't know who Carlos Sarmiento is. I don't know who Dave Martin is. I don't even know who Rich Ferry is. But I saw them all on Sid Roth's program. Okay, now, I seen Dave uh, Sid Carlos Sarmiento in uh, 2012 I think around there and Dave Martin at the same time all, all, all three of them <coughs> but when Carlos heard that the father say son it's time to get your bride that was in May 8 2005 Jesus told me in October 25 not knowing that Carlos was having his exper heavenly experience on o did he tell you the same day he told you on the same no, day no he told me five months later okay and on October 25 2005 Jesus said I'm coming in 2020. It blew my mind. And what year was that? 2005, right? 2005. And he said that he's coming in 2020. So, the first thing that I said to Jesus was, I quoted the scripture, Lord, you say, no man knows the day or the hour, not the angels, not even you. And the Lord said to me, did I tell you the day or the hour? <laughs> I told you the, the year. year. And it was like a, a sharp rebuke, you know. And I said, okay, I got it, okay. Now Jesus cannot lie, yeah. While he was on the earth, he did not know the day or the hour. He said, only my father. And when the father said to Jesus, son, go and get my bride, that was a statement, not a question. It was a statement that the father put to Jesus. Now, you got like one minute. if the father told me that, right, I, I would ask the father, well, when? But when the father said that, Jesus knew already. He knew the year. Okay. Jesus didn't have, have to question the Father and say, oh, when? When? When am I going to go get my bride? Okay. Jesus knew. When the Father knew said the it, year, Jesus right? knew it. Yeah. Okay. Not the day. And now, all, all this time, Jesus was in heaven, 2000. He still didn't know. He still don't know the day or the hour. Only the Father knows that. Yeah. Yeah. But the Father told him the year. And so now with all these young uh, adults coming on YouTube, because that's where I've seen all, all these young Christians coming forward and some elderly, uh, the body of Christ. And only God can reveal these things to the body of Christ. See? 
I didn't, I, I didn't ask the Lord to give me an experience of the rapture back in 1988. I, I didn't ask the Lord, well, tell me when you're coming. He just said it. Now I know as a prophet, and I know all the prophets out, out there, yes. mostly all of them. Okay. You know, God doesn't have to tell us everything to bring prophecies although he does brings a lot of prophecies through the prophets but God can bring a prof prophecies through a pastor through an apostle a, 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 an evangelist even even to the body of Christ old young even a child yeah out of the mouth of babes comes perfected praises and 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 I've heard one of these girls on the video said her five-year-old son had a dream. A five-year-old son using these hyperbolical words like transport. I mean, that, that's only from God. Only God can put the words in a child's mouth. Yeah? And so, you know, the, the Lord is, is doing a quick work in these last days. He said, he said he was. And he's pouring out his spirit like never before. And we've heard of the glory of God, right? Well, this, this is the glory of God. That knowledge is gonna flood the earth like the waters cover the sea, okay? So the, the signs of the times is, is already here. We, we can look at everything that's going on, okay? We can look at everything. Else. But there's worse things that, that is coming that we don't see. I, I know some stuff that is coming but and i'm sure a lot of other people know but god is giving us yeah he's showing us things that is gonna happen in the great tribulation period so he wants he wants to reach out he wants to save as much souls as he can because god's heart beats for souls and he's reaching the young people today to to reaching out to them that they may be saved to Christ Jesus yeah, to accept him as their Lord and Savior and he will he will save them yeah, from the wrath that is to come okay? and so the, those are the two things that Jesus had had allowed me to experience the rapture and his spoken word Amen. so he's told me in 2005 he was coming in 2020 and those young men and women on the video some of them they said themselves well not themselves but God told them that he was coming in 2020 that Jesus was coming in 2020 so here you have it so you can you can take it whichever way you want but you know but like everything go check with God you know go ask God if this is of man or of God yeah and and he will show you he will, he will tell you he's a good God he wants he wants us to to know things through the spirit of discernment or through other witnesses right so hallelujah hallelujah Amen. but watch watch the children now because out of the mouth of babes it might be your grandchildren, it might be your son or your daughter. But well, praise the Lord, right? Upon your sons and your daughters, I will pour out my spirit and they will prophesy. Well, they're prophesying the coming rapture of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you guys all. In Jesus' name, amen.